Good evening. My name is Dr. William Padula. I direct the Padula Institute of Vision Rehabilitation in Guilford, Connecticut. We're starting a, a blog over the next month or two, and Dr. Syed and I will be introducing to you subjects with regards to visual dysfunction caused by a wide variety of neurological disorders and developmental problems. Here at the Institute, we see patients that come from throughout the world and they come in with concussions, traumatic brain injury, multiple sclerosis, Lyme disease, Parkinson's disease, just to name several. These patients are having significant vision problems that are stemming from dysfunctions that occur in the brain process due to the neurological event. Sometimes it's not that easy to understand. Frequently our patients tell us that they've gone to other doctors even eye doctors, who check out their vision and tell them that they have normal eyesight and their eyes are healthy and there's no problem with their eyes. This is true because what we uncover frequently is that the visual processing problems that are in the brain underlie what's happening with the eyes. So the eyes can appear perfectly normal and the visual acuity can actually be fairly normal also but people can have many symptoms, such as headaches, eye strain, dizziness, vertigo, problems with glare sensitivity, and it can even cause problems with balance and movement. For many of these patients, they've even had falls and told that there's nothing wrong with their vision that's causing the falls. Our testing is quite comprehensive. It does take several hours involves a thorough eye health evaluation, but beyond that, we look at binocular function, how the two eyes are integrated together, and more importantly, how the brain processes are working to establish binocularity, and how the visual brain processes orient and match information with other sensory motor feedback systems and feed forward systems to support balance and movement and stabilize the visual system so that a person can make a movement without dizziness or go into a busy, crowded, or moving environment without feeling overwhelmed or even experiencing panic attacks. So we're looking forward to opening up this blog with you over the next few months and to spend time with you to discuss each of these issues and hopefully to give you a better understanding of perhaps your own problems, or a loved one or a friend who is having significant visual problems related to a neurological event. So we welcome you to join us over the next several months, and we'll be coming up with a series of blogs in the very near future. Thank you.